my name is Anna Lynn and on this channel I usually talk about books, passion, lifestyle and also sometimes Taylor Swift. But today I'm going to be talking about the things that have been making me happy lately. I made this video in 2017, I believe, as well. Just me talking about whatever had been making me happy. And I really loved making that video. It was fun to film, it was fun to edit and I got nice comments on it. So. I figured, why not do it again five years later? <laughs> um, you can watch the original version up here. Um, I haven't really re-watched it, so I'm not sure how, you know, good it actually is, but I remember it fondly, so <laughs> I would love it if you could share something that has been making you happy lately in the comments down below. I think it's really important to acknowledge the things that you're grateful for and, you know, just, just give some recommendations to other people as well. Um, I know that the world isn't the happiest place at the moment with the war going on in Ukraine and also COVID still. Um, so I, I just wanted to make something that would make me happy and also potentially make you happy. So here we go. First off, I, I am so happy that the days are getting longer again, that I don't have to cycle in the dark going to and from my workplace because I just don't like it. <laughs> it brightens up my day tremendously. Just just having a few more hours in the light and also just having a blue sky. Cause I remember in like November, December, like the sky was always gray. Like for a good few weeks, I did not see the sun literally. And now it is back again and it is so good. <laughs> I've also been really enjoying going to the gym. And if you had, asked me like three months ago if I liked working out I would have said no and I also would have assumed that you did not know me at all if you thought that I would enjoy going to the gym because I do not like sports I never have I'm bad at them but because I have chronic pain in my legs I had some physical therapy and basically what I had to do was work out and go to the gym and now I've been doing that for two months. I go twice a week and it's it's lovely. I really enjoy it. I, I, I look forward to it all day and I just listen to my podcast and just work out. <laughs> and I'm really glad that I don't, I don't, I don't really do any cardio. So I'm never out of breath, which, which is nice. So I'm not really working on, on like my stamina or whatever. I'm just, really doing muscle training but it's really good i like it i never wake up anymore at night with pain in my legs which was the ultimate goal so we're here it's working i'm just going to keep going because it makes me very happy <laughs> and i never would have thought that i always hated sports i hated pe at school i just i just never liked it because i was never good at it and I'm not saying that I'm good at working out, but um, but at least I enjoy it. And, you know, it's a good time. I also sometimes go with my friend, and then we have a little chat in the locker room, and sometimes afterwards we hang out as well. It's a good time. I've also been crocheting, as you might know from my starting 2022 on a good note video. I plan on making 12 crochet projects this year. I have made a hat and I'm currently working on a sweater vest. I did do something wrong <laughs> with the pattern, so I'm not sure if it'll work out, but um, we'll see how that goes. And I will probably make a video about that as well. I have already filmed little bits of it because I really enjoyed making my crochet and chat vlog where I make the hat. It was so relaxing to just crochet and chat and talk and I got some nice comments on it. I, I do plan on, on making more. So expect that somewhere in the next few weeks, probably in like two weeks, there will be a video. It'll also be nice and long. I've also been reading a lot more lately. I, I now wake up and start reading, which makes me feel really productive and it just keeps me going. I'm currently reading two books, which I'm actually not a fan of. I shouldn't have done it, but I am doing it now. Um, I'm reading Dune still by Frank Herbert. I think I've been reading this since, since November, but I finally managed to reach the point in the novel that 
wasn't in the movie so I'm I've, I've like seen all of the stuff that's in the movie it's actually kind of exciting because now I don't know what's going to happen um, I talked about this with my colleagues earlier but I'm very happy that I watched the movie first because I have a very hard time picturing things in my head like when a character is described I don't it t takes a lot of energy for me to picture them so I usually just don't bother same with like descriptions of of landscapes or rooms that just it's all generic in my head so I was very happy that I had a visual reference to the characters the world the sandworms you know even though like description the descriptions are not too long and they are very clear it is still I'm, I'm still so happy that I watched the movie first <laughs> I'm also reading A Journal of the Plague Year by Daniel Defoe. It is a novel that one of my favorite YouTubers, Emma Angeline, has been talking about for a few videos now. It is basically an account of the plague in 1665 in London, but it was written, you know, so that it would feel like it is non-fiction, but it actually is fiction. It is one of the first novels in the English language um, and it's interesting, <laughs> like we are in the plague again and it's strange to see the similarities and also the differences and I was also very surprised by how easy to read it is, like only, you know, every few pages, like every 10 pages there will be like an asterisk next to a word because the word would mean something different to us than it did to Daniel Defoe when he wrote it, but other than that it is really easy. To read and understandable and I did not expect that from a book that was this year released 300 years ago. I talked about my work earlier and I'm very happy that I get to go back to the office. Working from home was obligatory for a few weeks again in Belgium. We only got to go to the office one day per week and I just don't like working from home. I I am an extrovert, I need to be around people. It probably would have been different if there was someone else working with me in this apartment, but there wasn't, so that was difficult. Um, so I'm very happy that I'm back at the office with all of my colleagues and it's just, it just makes me so happy. I, f I feel a lot more productive, it's, it's great, I love it. <laughs> I think the last thing I want to talk about is the orchestra that I'm in. I go to band practice every Saturday. Um, it is just one hour and it's all strings, so it's just violins, two violas and two shadows. And it's really nice. I love it. <laughs> I've been doing this for, I don't know, I've been playing the violin for 17 years and I've been in that particular orchestra for probably like 12 years yes <laughs> 12 years I've been in that orchestra and I I love it currently we are playing a piece by Grieg it is the Holberg suite and it's really nice I, I, I don't think I knew it before I might have heard it somewhere but it is really nice to listen to it is relatively easy to play like it you know even when you're just starting out it sounds pretty good like of course there's room for improvement but you get a nice result really early on i hope that we get to perform soon again because we haven't performed in two years and i and i do miss it even though i'm nervous every time i i do want to just show the people what we've been working on because I think we're we're doing pretty well. <laughs> I think that's where I'll wrap it up. Oh, I also want to talk about there's a new Pokemon game, Legend Arceus, and I've heard so many good things about it. I'm very excited to buy it and play it, but I feel like I should first finish playing like the main game of Brilliant Diamond just just so that, you know, I'm I'm not playing two games at once because then I will Never finished Brilliant Diamond, I feel. But um, I hope that I can finish it soon and then I can start Legend Arceus. I'm so excited for it. I might make a video about that as well. Just just me playing like the first bit, playing it for the first time like I, I did with um, the Animal Crossing video that I did in November 2020.
so keep an eye out for that. This is where I'll wrap things up. What has been making you happy lately? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you next Wednesday. I know that I skipped a week and that today is Thursday, but I was just very busy. And I'm also pretty sure that no one noticed. So I didn't want to talk about it at the beginning of the video. So if you're seeing this, this is my sincere apology. And I will make sure that it doesn't happen again soon. <laughs> it might happen again. It probably will happen again. Like sometimes, sometimes you just gotta reschedule. I, I do plan on uploading every Wednesday again, starting next week. So I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.